on the passenger side, very close to the shift stick. On the passenger side, close to the shift stick, you got this little piece of panel thing that's connected to the center console right underneath the uh, stereo, the head unit. You slide this off. Mine's broken, so it comes off really easily. And then you're going to see this blue two-pin connector. It's usually tucked in away back there, or sometimes it's connected right in here. It's plugged in there, but mine's loose. I keep it like that. Now, if you made one of these, then all you got to do is plug that in. If you don't have one of these, you could either use this kind of uh, fork, a ground fork connector. It's a smaller one than the yellow one that I have here in my hand. Usually the blue one works. Uh, I don't use these things. I prefer to use this. It's a little easier in my opinion, but you can use those ground fork connectors. It's the same thing. So plug it in. So with your connector plugged in, or your fork ground connector that's plugged in. Take key, stick it in the ignition, turn it twice. One, two. So with the key on, in the on position, in the ignition, you're going to count the long durations of the blinking check engine light or the ABS light or whatever other light you got going on, and the short durations. The long durations come first, the short comes second. I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, we'll go on from there. So, let's try it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so uh, my code's 45, so I'm going to go online and match it up. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find out what your code is because not everyone's going to get the same code, or he might. And uh, I'll show you the next step, which is to clear the uh, this check engine light or the ABS light, whatever you got. To clear the code, you gotta take out the radio clock fuse, which is the 7.5A. So, take the fuse box out. There's the fuse. There's the fuse. Simply take it out. Wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One more for good measure. Put it back in. And that's it. So now that you pulled the fuse out of the fuse box that's underneath the hood, the code should be cleared. The, the, by that I mean the check engine light or the ABS light or whatever other light you got. It'll be cleared. It'll be gone. Now, you can actually take that fuse out before doing any of this stuff and uh, it'll just get rid of your check engine light temporarily it may come back in my opinion most likely will because you didn't fix the part that needs to be fixed or the like if you have something else that some kind of maintenance that you need to do sometimes the EGR cleaning thing but yeah you can even try that out and uh, I'll show you right now because I pulled that fuse out put the key in one two and there it is it's gone it'll most likely come back after I, uh, you know, drive the car for a little bit because I didn't fix the part that needs to be done. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. Enjoy.